Hey YouTube! Okay, so, like, three weeks ago, Cheryl, um, Cheryl Coyote did this tag, and I said I was gonna do it, and then I never did, so I'm gonna do it now. It's the Never Have I Ever tag. So, and I'll put, I'll write the, the questions in the description bar in case you guys wanna do it. Question one. Spray tanned. No, I have never spray tanned. I, when I was a kid, I used that shit that comes in a bottle, the like liquid tan shit or whatever, fucking totally turned me orange, so that was, that was that, as far as that goes. Um, two, slept in makeup all the fucking time. Now, usually I take showers at night, but if I do take a shower during the day instead of at night and I put on makeup, I never wash my face before I go to bed. And until recently, it hadn't been a problem ever in my life. Like, I got through my teenage years without any real breakouts or anything. I would have one or two zits during that time of the month, and then that would be it. And then lately, man, my face has been breaking out like nobody's fucking business. But I don't think it has anything to do with the makeup. I think my skin's just being fucking weird. Okay, three, dyed my hair a crazy color. Yes, when I was almost 14, I did my hair purple, and it was the prettiest color of purple, man. And I would totally do more crazy colors, except for the fact that I have to bleach my hair to do it. And the shit washes out in like three weeks, three or four weeks. And when I did it the last time, I ended up blonde for like three months, and I do not look good as blonde. That's just not, it. that ain't me. So I never did it again. But I would love to, if I could, you know, get the cash to maintain it or whatever, I would totally do it again and you know, go for the blue and the red and the pink and all of it, because I love it. Um, four, have I ever spent a hundred dollars or more on makeup at one time? Hell no. <laughs> no. One of these days I'll show you guys my makeup bag. I buy, like, all of my shit comes from Walmart and if there is foundation and it is over ten dollars, I will not buy it. So I'm just I'm a cheap bitch. Like I don't no, I have never spent a hundred dollars or more on makeup at one time. Um <clears throat> five. Have I ever worn red lipstick to work work or school? No. I have tried red lipstick, but it's not it's not a good color for me. I don't look right with it on, so I've never really worn it. I usually wear purple of some type, some shade, either light purple or dark purple. Um, six. Have I ever had a noticeable foundation line? Oh, I'm sure I have. Probably. I don't know. I, I can't remember a time when I noticed it, but I'm sure I probably have. Seven. Have I ever lost a false eyelash in public? I don't wear false, false eyelashes. I've never worn them, never needed them. Um, my grandmother tells me when I get older, my eyelashes will get thinner, and maybe then I'll need them, but right now I've, I've never needed them. Um, eight, have I ever cut my own hair? Oh, hell no. Not this girl. Mm -mm, no. I, in my family, all of the guys are either like truck drivers or mechanics, and the females are cosmetologists, or they like hair, or they mess around with hair, and I just didn't get that. I did not get that gene in the slightest. I have no interest in hair whatsoever, which is why mine looks like it does. And um, I would never, ever have the balls to take scissors to my own hair because I just, no. Um, nine, have I ever bought a product for its packaging? Yes. There was this perfume at Walmart a couple of years ago, and it was called Vampire. And I saw it, and I fucking lost it. Because it had like this really, really white female with these red lips and this, you know, fangs and the fucking, um, it, two bottles came in the pack and one looked like a, a fucking long vial of blood and it, it just, it cracked me up. Like, how could I not walk out with that? All I could imagine were my female vampires being like, fucking seriously, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I bought it and I bought two packages in case I liked the smell of it so I could keep one because I thought it was really great and use the other and I did like the smell it was actually one of the best smelling perfumes I've ever had and um, my baby sister got a hold of the pack that I was holding back so I can no longer show you the packaging because it's gone <laughs> um, have I ever used rollers in my hair have I no has my grandmother like most of my childhood absolutely 
I have slept in rollers. I have had the, the spongy kinds, the plastic kinds, the ones that you roll up to do a perm. Um, I've had them, you know, in my hair and had to sit under the big fucking old dryers. and Yeah, I've had them in my hair, but I've never personally used them. They were used on me. Against my will. Like, yeah, it was terrible. I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> um, have I ever plucked my eyebrows? Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all can see, but my eyebrows are a hot mess right now. And I do get a unibrow. And I've plucked my own eyebrows, but usually grandma does them. Um, I waxed them from the time I was 10 until I was like 23. And then we started plucking them. And I can pluck my own eyebrows. It's just grandma's a retired cosmetologist and she <laughs> likes to do shit like that, and I won't let her cut my hair, so it, it's my eyebrows she picks on. Um, number 12. Have I ever had plastic surgery? No, but, I mean, that's not to say that I wouldn't. I have, you know, between you, me, and the fly on the wall, two drastically different size boobies. <laughs> I guess they're a tasteless way to say that. Um, I have a C and a B minus. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd get the little one done so that he matched the big one if, if I could. But right now I'm broke, so. And, um, I would probably maybe consider getting, like, the, the skin that I have. See, yeah, that, that just grosses me out. Um, I have loose skin from where I lost weight so fast, and I didn't do it, you know, with exercise or anything. So I have loose skin all over my body, my arms and my legs especially. My legs are really bad. Um. I would probably get that cut off if I had the money, but I don't, so I've never had plastic surgery. Um, Thirteen. Have I ever had my makeup done by a professional? No. I am very simple when it comes to makeup. I've been doing my makeup since I was a kid, and I, you know, as you can tell, no muss, no fuss. I really don't put a whole hell of a lot into it. I would like to get it done by a professional sometime. That'd be pretty cool, but... They couldn't touch my eyeballs. I have a thing about eyeballs, and I had a, a best friend growing up that was really into doing makeup, and I would let her do my makeup, but she could not put eyeliner on me or eyeshadow. Well, I let her do my eyeshadow, just not my eyeliner or my mascara, because I you can't get close to my eye. I freak out. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I would let a professional do it, but no, I haven't had it done. So... If you liked this tag, like I said, I'll put the questions down in the description bar in case you want to do it. And I tag anyone who wants to do it. And thanks for sharing this one, Cheryl. I really liked it. It was it was a fun reprieve from my usual fucking boring stuff videos. <laughs> oh, I hope you all have a beautiful week. And I hope you all remember to smile.